against college basketball side. What are your thoughts? Uh, I agree, but in the same sense that there's a, it's a gift and a curse with NIL on the men's side as well. Guys aren't leaving school anymore unless they're for sure first round picks. So you're still building stars in college on the men's side too, because a lot of guys um, that have played well in the tournament or are big names at their school, if they're not projected lottery or first round, or if they're not seniors or older or juniors, they're in no rush to leave school. Um, now you social media, you're still getting to learn a lot of the, now if you change the age for the back to 18 for out of high schoolers, um, a lot of these kids are phenoms before they even get to college. You know, the Bronnies, the Mikey Williams, these guys have followings um, from the sneaker deals with Nike Puma and also the tournaments. And they've been playing since they were eighth, ninth grade. They've been stars um, because they have that following. They get a chance to present it or get to G League faster, or NBA faster and make and they're already stars at that point. Um, but if you have to go to college and you build your stardom there and you're not a first round pick, why would you leave? Um, I had this conversation the other day with one of my teammates, um, Isaiah Mobley, Evan's brother. You know, he was like, you know, I got offered to come back to school. He's like, if, if you're not, if you don't got this to, you know, for me to stay in school, or if they do have this in me to stay, it makes no sense for me to go to the league, but it makes no sense for me to stay here if you don't have at least this, because I know I can at least get a two-way deal type situation. Um, so there is a bargain with that. And I said, I think a lot of guys that are not first round picks are, are more likely, you know, Mondo Baycock, he went back to school. You know, he's done, he's leading rebounder at Carolina right now. He's done more than enough years and put enough work to show what he's capable of as a big man. But why would I leave when I'm getting paid this here? I'm the king here. And I know if I enter, I might be a second round pick or I might get a two A, which is probably the same, if not less than what I might be getting at school. Yeah, no, for sure. I just think, yeah, you know, I, 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 you'll see more guys stick around in college, but I just think it's interesting here where, if you are a first round pick though, you're, you're gone. You're going to the, w, the NBA, but mm -hmm. being a, a first round pick in the NBA does not give you as much social capital as a college basketball star who eventually is also going to be a star as a pro like Caitlin Clark. If the, if the WNBA had a draft, she'd be a top three pick, I would assume, but she's going to stick around in college, kill it, get more, get more love, get more, uh, even bigger following. And then she'll go to the WNBA and she's going to be on the top of the marquee. There's going to be a lot of guys. There's a lot of guys in the, in college basketball, men's college basketball, who are never going to be a star there and might never be a star in the NBA either because they never got a chance to build a following, never got a chance to build Agreed. people rooting for you or rooting against you. Agreed. Um, but at the same time, I said, there's advantage and disadvantage for all of them. I think the women get to still, the chicken faster, though. So, you know, <laughs> I think it's more yeah. advantage for them because the WNB, the W hasn't made that jump yet. Uh, I think they are going to get a little bit more of a push in terms of salary wise. But, you know, the salary difference from from men's college to NBA is a bigger difference um, when you're yeah, going first round sure. a lottery. Uh, women said they do have that advantage, but they also have to wait for their money. If they were to once the money goes up for them. They're going to have to wait a little longer, but they're probably going to make a good amount of money in college, which is similar um, to build their stardom. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of these young females, these young women grow and continue to change women's basketball um, on that level. Because, you know, I have younger sisters. We all have friends, cousins uh, or mothers or whoever you want to that, that played the game or plays the game, loves the game and, um, you know, represents the game and, and wants to, to, to support it as much as possible. And the more that this grows, the more the support they'll get from it. Yeah, no, the WNB, <clears throat> sorry, the, the Women's College Basketball Tournament definitely creates some great 